Right here guys, it's Weston here. So today I'm going to be comparing the Huawei P9 and the Xiaomi Mi 5. And I've already done a couple of comparisons between these phones in both the camera and performance. And those will be linked in the description if you want to check them out. And actually the Huawei seemed to come out on top of those performance tests. In this video I'm going to be looking at every other aspect of these phones to see which one is best. Now before I do that I'd just like to say a massive thank you to Vodafone for providing me with the Huawei P9 for these videos and also for the review coming very soon as well. So anyway, let's start off and talk about the design of these phones. And both are really nice. So let's take a look at these a little bit closer. So the P9 measures at 145 by 70.9 by 7mm thick. The Mi 5 is 144.6 by 69.2 by 7.3. So it's a little bit smaller. The P9 is the heavier of the two coming in at 144 gram to the Mi 5's 129. So let's take a look at both these phones now. And I would give the edge in the design department to the Mi 5. I just think it looks cleaner, it's much more minimal and much more stylish. I'm not saying that the P9 is a bad looking phone, I just prefer the more minimalist approach of the Mi 5. So yeah, the Mi 5 has a really nice curved glass back, which is fantastic. It looks nice, it feels nice. The only downside is it does attract a lot of fingerprints and it is a little bit on the slippery side. The P9 does have a metal back and it's not as slippery and not as prone to fingerprints, but I guess the material choice comes down to your preference. The P9 also has its fingerprint scanner at the back, whereas the Mi 5 has it at the front. Both scanners are really, really good, but I would give the edge to the P9 in the scanner department. It's much quicker and it's much more accurate. Also, the placement, again, down to your preference, but both are really good. The Mi 5 also, you have to wake the display to use the fingerprint scanner, whereas the P9 works from off screen. So again, swings and roundabouts, both are really good, really accurate, but the P9 does edge it. But yeah, like I said, both are really nice looking phones. Both feel great in the hand. So the P9, like I said, already has a metal back with a glass front and the Mi 5 has a glass back, glass front and metal edges. So both look and feel fantastic. I would give the edge in hand to the Mi 5. That curved back just helps it in the hand and it just feels much nicer. It's much more comfortable for me to use one handed. The P9 does feel a little bit more secure in the hand, but comfort wise, Mi 5, security, the P9 does feel a little bit better there. Moving on to displays next and both have got really good 1080p panels so the p9 has a 5.2 inch ips neo lcd display with a pixel density of 423 ppi the mi 5 has a 5.15 inch display ips lcd with a pixel density of 428 and both are really good the mi 5 is a little bit warmer and a little bit more saturated and a little bit more vibrant whereas the p9 tends to be a little bit more color accurate and a little bit cooler so I guess again that comes down to your preference. I personally prefer the more accurate and cooler P9. It's just the colours I prefer. I prefer, like I said, more accuracy than vibrancy. But again, all down to preference. Both are really good looking panels. Both are really sharp. Colours look great on both depending on your preference. Viewing angles with them both being IPS are fantastic. So I've got no complaints whatsoever there. Both do go really bright as well. I would give the edge to the P9 in brightness, but both are really legible outdoors. So again, no issues there whatsoever. So both displays are fantastic. The edge for me, the P9 just takes it a little bit. It just seems to be a little bit sharper and a little bit cleaner looking. Also, if you don't like the colors of either, they do have a setting in the uh, screen menu and you can change stuff like the uh, color temperature, the contrast, the saturation and all that to tweak the display to how you want it anyway. So. Whichever one you get, you can tweak it to however you like the display to look. UI next, and both of these are running Android 6.0. The P9 is running Emu I, I don't know if I pronounced that right, uh, 4.1. And the Xiaomi is running Mi UI 8, which is the global ROM. And both are nice-ish looking UIs. I mean, they're not as nice looking as stock Android in my opinion. But both are decent. I would say I would give the edge to the P9 in the UI department. I just think... It's a little bit nicer actually. The stock icons look a little bit better and a little bit more coherent. And the third party apps look a little bit better as well. Xiaomi's third party apps don't look fantastic to be honest. And even the main apps like Instagram and Outlook, they just look a little bit odd in comparison to how they look on the P9. So I would give the edge to the P9 in uh, terms of UI. Yeah, looking at the settings and stuff, uh, again, it's, they've gone for a different approach. So we've got a split style on the P9 and a scrolling style on the Mi 5. Settings, both are good. I would give the edge to the Mi 5 in the settings because all the settings are available, whereas the P9, some of the more important ones are hidden away. 
And back to look again, uh, if you don't like the look of either of these, you can always install a third party launcher like Google Now Launcher, but you don't actually need to because both have got a really comprehensive theme store. So that means you can change the look of your phone without having to install any apps. So now we get on to performance and both are really good performing phones. And I have covered this more in depth if you want to check out that video. So I'm not going to be covering specs in this one. So, but both are really, really quick. UI, really, really smooth on both. Scrolling, swiping, really, really nice. Neither have an app draw, so I can't really distinguish which is faster there. But both scroll through the UI really, really quickly, so no complaints there. So yeah, both are really, really quick phones. And if you, like I said, want to see that and how they perform together, then check that video out. But yeah, both are really good performing phones. Gaming performance is something I didn't touch on, but both game fantastic. Games like Asphalt 8 play on both, no problems whatsoever. So I can't really complain in terms of performance with either of these devices. So next up we got onto battery life, and both of these have a non-user removable 3000 mAh battery. The Xiaomi has quick charge 3.0, whereas the Huawei has just fast charging. Now in terms of charging speed, the Xiaomi does actually charge much quicker than the P9. Now I did both these tests from 5% and the Mi 5 charged around half an hour quicker than the P9. Now it, for charging speeds obviously the Mi 5 is quicker because it has quick charge but even on normal charging so that is without quick charge or fast charging the Mi 5 did charge a little bit faster. So if you want a phone that charges up and tops up quicker then the Mi 5 is definitely the way to go. In terms of longevity, both performed really well. I could easily get one and a half to two days use out of both these devices with light to medium use. So we're talking a bit of social media, a bit of web browsing, email, YouTube, and all that stuff. And both lasted around one and a half days. Screen on time wise, I was getting around five hours average, but both of these devices, so no complaints whatsoever for screen on time. The Xiaomi did edge it on a couple of days, getting closer to six hours. Whereas the P9 was still managing around 5 uh, heavy to medium use. So in terms of battery life, I would say the Mi 5 is stronger because it charges quicker. And it does seem to offer slightly better performance in terms of battery life. Now we get on to the rear facing cameras. And again, I've covered this more in depth if you want to check that out. I did a part 1 where I looked at the apps. And I did a part two where I actually looked at the camera quality and the P9 did take the win in both of those. Now the Mi 5 did win in terms of the video performance but the P9 took it in photo and app. So I guess it, down to your preference, I mean both take really lovely looking photos. Colour accuracy goes to the P9 and sharpness, again P9. And finally we get onto the last category which is audio and both these phones perform really well in this. Now I would have to give the edge to the P9 again actually, it, especially for the 3.5mm jack, the quality is much better, it outputs much louder as well, the Xiaomi is a little bit on the quiet side in comparison to the P9. Now if I weren't comparing these side by side, then both would be considered good, but because the P9 is slightly better than the Mi 5, it is more noticeable, and it obviously produces better quality, better volume, and yeah it's just an overall better 3.5mm jack. The Mi 5 still performs really well, but because it's compared against the P9, it's just not as good. Then we get onto speakers, and both are really good. They've both got side firing speakers, which isn't ideal for placement, but both are really good. The P9 is clearer and a little bit louder and less prone to distortion, whereas the Mi 5 is a little bit quieter, has more body to it, so it's got a little bit more low end, but it is prone to more distortion. So I guess that swings and runs about. Do you like more body or do you prefer clarity and volume? So yeah, that is pretty much it for this comparison. So which one of these phones is actually best? I'd have to give the edge to the P9, I would say. Now, the Xiaomi did put up a really good fight in pretty much all the categories, and it actually won a couple. I mean, the design, it's much nicer. It's got much nicer video quality, and it also took a couple of other categories as well. The P9 did seem to win pretty much most of the categories and thus is the better phone. Now we actually get onto the price of these and the P9 is actually much more expensive than the Xiaomi so I guess that might sway your vote a little bit. Now for me I like price to performance and the Xiaomi actually does win in terms of that. It's cheaper and it performs near enough identical to the P9 in most situations. So do you want to spend that bit extra for the little bit extra performance gain you're getting from the P9, I guess that's up to you. Me, I actually did choose the Mi 5 as my daily driver, and yeah, I'm not disappointed with it whatsoever. Right guys, so that is pretty much it for this video. If you've got any questions about either of these devices, then drop me a comment down below. Anything else, again, drop me a comment. 
Any likes, shares and subscribe would be really appreciated. And that way you'll get to see more videos like this and all the new stuff I've started on my channel as well. So thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you all on the very next video.